I'm Shirley Bowden from St. Augustine's Episcopal Church in Kansas City. Anna Julia Hayward Cooper was an activist, writer, and educator who is commemorated by the Episcopal Church on February 28. Anna was born to an enslaved mother in North Carolina on August 10, 1858. Her father was likely the man who enslaved her or his brother. In 1868, she enrolled at St. Augustine's Normal School, which had been formed by the Episcopal Church to educate African Americans and to form teachers and priests. The school is now St. Augustine University, one of two historically black colleges and university with Episcopal roots. She was immediately recognized as a brilliant student and while still enrolled at the school, began teaching math to other students part-time. It was at the school that Anna had her first feminist awakening in noting that the classes taught to the male students were more rigorous than those taught to the female students. The initial realization helped her to become an advocate and activist for black women in this nation. Anna Mary George Cooper, one of the first African-American Episcopal priests in North Carolina in 1877. Sadly, Cooper died two years later, leaving her a widow at the age of 21. She never remarried. Anna enrolled at Oberlin College in Ohio, which was one of the only integrated institutions of higher learning at the time. She received a Bachelor's of Art and Master's of Art degree from Oberlin. Following this, she became a teacher in Washington High School in Washington, D.C., a prestigious prep school for African-American students. In the 1890s, Anna became a well-known orator speaking for the rights of black women. It was also during this time that she published her first book, A Voice from the South by a Black Woman of the South. In 1902, she was named principal of Washington High School, which had changed its name to M Street School. She was very successful in this position, and students from her academy were accepted in Ivy League schools. Despite her successes, forces from outside the school wanted the school to focus more on vocational training. She resisted, believing that all students, no matter the race or gender, deserved the opportunity for a college education. For standing by this belief, Anna was terminated from her position in 1905. At this point, she took a position teaching at Lincoln College in Jefferson City, Missouri. She returned in 1910 to the M Street School in Washington as a teacher and stayed there until 1930. In 1911, she began studying for her doctorate degree, and in 1925, at the age of 67, received her doctorate of philosophy degree from the Sorbonne in Paris. From 1930 to 1941, she was the president of a university in Washington for working adults. In addition to her academic career, Anna raised two foster and five adopted children. Throughout her long life, she was a tireless advocate for equal rights of African American and women. She died in her sleep on February 27, 1964, at the age of 105. Let us pray. Almighty God, you inspired your servant, Anna Julia Haywood Cooper, with the love of learning and the skill of teaching. Enlighten us more and more through the discipline of learning and deepen our commitment to the education of all your children through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.